Donovan Mitchell is now free from the Utah Jazz purgatory room, y'all. I know Miami Heat fans are screaming right now. But does it get any better with him being in Cleveland though? Yo, what it do YouTube? Eat most sequence, we're going you vibing. If so, let me know, let me know. Of course, you've seen the news about Donovan Mitchell going to the Cavaliers. This is crazy. And that's only because we really thought Donovan Mitchell was gonna go to the Knicks because the Knicks seem like they just have more to offer to get Donovan Mitchell. The Knicks had the picks and the potential players to trade to lock in on that deal. Like they were literally talking for weeks. But I guess once the RJ Barrett sign happened, it was over, the doors closed. So the Cleveland Cavaliers are sending the Utah as, I mean, Jazz, I mean, as, I mean, uh, yeah. they're giving them Lori Marketing, O'Shea, and Colin Saxton. <laughs> it ain't over yet. Hold on to your seat because they're giving them three first round unprotected picks. Those picks being the 2025, 2027, and 2029 draft class. Just right when you thought the Cavaliers was done giving, they was in the giving mood even more. They also gave away two pick swaps for a grand total of five picks to get Donovan Mitchell. And obviously with the Utah Jazz receiving all of that, their intention is going for a rebuild. And if you think about how many picks they got during the Rudy Gobert trade, they're sitting at 13 picks right now. It's crazy. But it's still reports coming out saying that the Utah Jazz is looking to move some of the veterans on the team, that being Jordan Clarkson, Bogdanovich, Michael Conley. And I'm like, oh God, they might even get more picks. Who knows? We definitely not gonna be seeing the Utah Jazz in the playoffs for a while. Maybe the Sacramento Kings gonna take that spot. <laughs> Couldn't even say that with a straight face. But since we talking about this subpar team, make sure you leave a like and a sub on this video, help your boy out. And if you'd like to join the Discord, the link is in the description. We're gonna be doing a fantasy this season and we also be playing games in there, so come through. But anyways, do you guys think this trade was fitting for the Cavaliers to do? A lot of people won't agree with me, but I think this was extremely good for the Cavaliers to do this. They was able to keep their main three, which was Garland, Allen, and Mobley. Those guys was performing all season last year. And I understand Laurie Marketing was putting up his points and stuff for the team, but you have Donovan Mitchell now. Donovan is most likely is gonna double what Marketing put up. And when you look at last year, that backcourt was literally only Darius Garland. Now you're adding a Donovan Mitchell who was an offensive threat and who can score and get to the basket as much as you want, right? Teams are going to prioritize defense on Mitchell to the point where it's almost like that Stephen Curry effect. All your other players on the team are gonna be able to score easier. This also gives Darius Garland more options and not for himself, but his teammates as well. And their rotations probably won't even look bad because you still have Karis LeVert coming off the bench and Ricky Rubio. And on top of that, they just picked up Robin Lopez. And if you think about how this team is set up, the Cavaliers got what they really need. And people are gonna say, oh, the Cavs ain't got no perimeter defense. The Cavs perimeter defense is trash. Listen, they have a player on their team that plays the whatever role they need for that night. That man is Isaac Okoro. That man is going to be the scrapper, the hustler, and the defender for that team. And the crazy part of it, because he's still developing, this is the best team for him to develop as a 3 and D player and more, because he can do it. I mean, he's shown it. But overall, this team is thriving with potential, and I cannot wait to see them play. Another question I want to ask you guys is, where do you think the Cavaliers will place this season? I'm not going to do a full conference placement breakdown because that's a video I'm working on later and make sure you subscribe so you can be here for that. I might do it live actually. But after the trade, I can tell you that the Cavaliers is better than Detroit, Indiana, Washington, New York, Charlotte, Atlanta, and uh, honestly, probably Toronto. I also feel like they somewhat could be better than the Chicago Bulls, but I could be reaching, I could be reaching, but only time will tell. We're gonna have to see next season. But if you enjoyed this video, check out my previous video where I talked about Rudy Gobert going to the Timberwolves and making them contenders now. Honestly, I truly think them boys are contenders out there. But yeah, peace out and thanks for watching.